Welcome. This is my summary of the NOAA August 2018 Global Climate Report. August was the fifth warmest August on record, being 0.94 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average. That's 0.2 degrees centigrade higher than June was. You will note that there are no areas on this plot that show record cold temperatures. There are, however, two areas that show much cooler than average temperatures. One in northern Alaska and the other one is this persistent spot off the southeast coast of Greenland. On the other hand, there were 23 areas of the globe that set record high temperatures in uh, August. You will also note that the area of the coast of South America is beginning to fill in with warmer than average temperatures and this is an indication that we're slipping towards a new El Nino. Now let's take a look at the global temperature anomaly for August plotted over the last 139 years. First let's compare the land and the ocean temperatures. You'll notice that the land is warming at about twice the rate of the ocean and that land was the sixth warmest August on record and ocean was the fifth warmest on record. When comparing the northern and southern hemisphere you'll see that the northern hemisphere is warming slightly more than the southern hemisphere and they were both the fifth warmest August on record. When it comes to temperature extremes, again the high temperature records have it over the low temperature records. For August extremes, we had 6,991 record highs compared with only 3,106 record lows. That's a ratio of about two and a quarter to one. Year to date, we have had 78,005 record highs and 35,813 record lows. That's a ratio of 2.2 to one. Next, let's turn our attention to the upper atmosphere, the so-called satellite data. And there are two groups that uh, do this type of analysis, UAH and RSS. For the lower troposphere, they get very similar results of about 0.2 degrees centigrade anomaly for the month of August. They agree that this is the ninth and seventh warmest August on record, and they get very similar long-term trends of 0.11 and 0.14 degrees centigrade per decade of warming. The mid troposphere is very similar. They agree that the overall anomaly is about 0.13 degrees centigrade. They both agree that it's the 11th warmest August on record, and they have a long-term decadal trend of 0.1 degrees centigrade per decade warming. Lastly, there's the stratosphere. Now the stratosphere is cooling. UAH gets the anomaly to be 0.46 degrees centigrade, whereas RSS gets it 0.39 degrees centigrade of cooling. They both agree that this is the sixth coolest August on record and they get very similar decadal trends of minus 0.28 degrees centigrade or minus 0.23 degrees centigrade per decade. Let's take a quick look at how the United States did in August. It was the 16th warmest August in US history with most of the West being well above normal temperatures, parts of the South joining them and all along the eastern seaboard with the northeast setting record temperatures. As far as precipitation was concerned, the eastern part of the country was above normal rainfall, whereas the western half of the country was below normal rainfall. Let's see how the sea ice is getting on. In the northern hemisphere, the sea ice extent in the Arctic was the eighth lowest on record, continuing a long-term downward trend. In the Southern Hemisphere, it was the fourth lowest on record. Well, the situation with the ENSO, the El Nino-La Nina cycle, is still in a neutral phase. However, the models seem now to be converging to a weak El Nino starting in something like November. However, it should return to ENSO neutral conditions fairly soon thereafter, probably in the spring of 2019. Let's make a quick diversion and take a look at what the sun has been doing. As I predicted, August of 2018 had an increase in the average sunspot number to about 10 per day. And you can see that means we're still quite a way away from a solar minimum conditions. Probably sometime in late 2019 or early 2020. And with the onset of solar cycle 25 in the mid part of 2020. So a maximum therefore should be not be before 2023 and maybe as late as 2026. And I'm estimating that it will be a somewhat above average solar cycle. 
So in summary then, August 2018 was the fifth warmest August on record. We've now had 404 consecutive months with above average temperatures, that is above the 20th century average. We have currently ENSO neutral conditions, but it's trending towards an El Nino sometime in November, but it will be a weak one and soon return to ENSO neutral conditions by probably uh, the spring of 2019. The sun is currently quiet, but the sunspot number was up from July. So until next time, goodbye.